everybody, it's Jazzy Horse Girl 101 here, and I am not dead, um, in case you were wondering. I am still alive. Um, I know I said I'd post once a month, but I kind of forgot last month to make a video and post it, um, so I'm going to be posting two videos this month to make up for not posting last month, um, so be on the lookout for a second video, but um, this first video I'm doing is going to be an updated barn tour of Gallop on Stables. Um, that is my traditional barn, and it um, has a decent amount of changes from the last barn tour. Um, I got some fake grass now, as you can see with it, and I think it makes the barn look ten times more realistic. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right into it because my barn's big and it's gonna take a while to get through. Okay, so as you saw in the beginning, we do have our sign here um, that has Gallop on Stables on it with the little metal horse and some flowers and whatnot. Um, I think I'm going to do a different sign eventually, but for right now, that's what we got. Alright, so here's our lovely arena. Um, as you can see, it's kind of smallish um, and it doesn't have a fence or anything. It's just kind of jumps out in the middle of my floor. They are not always here. They just kind of come out when I do barn tours. So um, you can see we have three jumps set up right now. We have this one, and then the heart one, and then... Alright, so we have this guy. This is Sport. Um, he is a gelding, um, thoroughbred, and yeah, he's just walking along and riding him. That is Nikki. Um, he is a lesson horse, so she's just riding him for fun. Then if you look behind Sport, we do have um, these stalls right here with some Marin Foles in them. Um, you can see a head right there. That is um, Fancy. Um, she is a thoroughbred mare, I believe. I think that's what her breed is. <laughs> I honestly couldn't tell you at this point. And then she does have a colt in there. Um, there he is. There's his butt anyway. That's Dublin. Um, so yeah, and then right here we have a lip is on her mare. This is Karma, and then that is her cult. I believe his name's Titus. Don't really remember though. Um, so yeah, that's him. And then um, these stalls, they all have opening doors and whatnot, and then uh, hooks for their lead ropes, and then they do all have water buckets, too. Um, just FYI. And then right here, um, that is the veterinarian Elizabeth, and she's just checking up on Electra, um, one of our thoroughbred mares, and her colt, Bullet. So yeah, that's them. Then, um, on the other side of our arena, we have the truck and trailer. Um, there's the truck in the trailer. And just arriving to the farm, we have a new quarter horse stallion. Um, he does not have a name yet. Um, and yeah, there he is with his little shipping boots and shipping halter on. Um, and holding him, I always forget his name. I think I named him John. I think that's John. So there's John, and he's just unloading his new horse. Um, um, then behind John, we do have a little bench and some flower pots, and then on the bench we have little show ribbons that I just put there because I don't know what I'm doing with them yet. So, yeah, they're just kind of there for now. Then just about to go into the arena, we have, um, Kate, and she's just, um, about to mount Isaac. Um, he is a Dutch warm blood gelding. Um, you can see our little mounting block that she's standing on. It's like the perfect size. Alright, so if you're coming from the arena into our main entrance, we have this little um, pathway and to the left you see a barn and uh, a jump in front of that barn. <laughs> and then to the right you can see some of our stalls with um, the start of our stallions and geldings. So um, this first stall is going to be for the new stallion that you saw be unloaded from the trailer. It does not have a name yet. Um, the next stall, this has Rocky, oops, Rocky, um, he is a Leopardalusa stallion, and he has his little fly sheet and whatnot there, and then he has a little tack box with some stuff in it, and then he also has a little ribbon on his door, so that's Rocky. 
And then you can see a horse's, see your fingers as carrots, no feeding, because these are stallions, so they're a little nippy. Um, and then right there is the farm dog, Oreo. She's just chilling. Um, and then in this stall, um, this is Voyager. He is, I don't think I have a breed for him yet. Um, if you're wondering why I randomly have breeds for the majority of my horses is I decided to enter the um, Briarfest photo show. Um, so I had to come up with breeds for all of my horses. So yeah, if you're just wondering why I'm randomly giving things breeds, it's because I spend a lot of time giving them breeds. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's him. And he has his solitary maker up there and his little blue ribbon. So coming after Voyager, we have a bigger stall. Um, this houses our Clydesdale Stallion. <laughs> I'm um, gonna go and give him. There he is. That is Phoenix. Um, so yeah, he's just chilling. He's one of my most favorite horses, to be honest. Um, I really love him. But anyways, um, and if you're wondering about my Popsicle 6 stalls, if you've never seen a barn tour, um, all of them have stall guards, they have sliding doors, they have hooks for halters and lead ropes, they have nameplates, they have hay nets, um, then they have... Oh, that was my knee. <laughs> they have water, food, and salt blocks. Then after Phoenix, if you walk this way, you will see a little pasture in the back here. Um, that is the home to one of our other stallions, who is an Irish draft. Um, yeah, he's just back there chilling in his little pasture. Um, and it does have a sign that says, be careful, I might be beautiful, but I am no angel, because he is a stallion again. And he has his leader up there, um, his name plates on there too, which is hard to see. And then there's actually a chain on the gate as well, because um, it's a real working gate. And then he also has food and water out here as well. Alright, so go on, moving on from Phantom, you will see Isaac's stall, which you saw him earlier, and he has a little bit on his door and his halter and later. And right, then after that, you will see our beautiful, wonderful wash stall. Um, I'm still so love how this turned out. Um, so it does contain cross ties. Um, it has a hose for hosing down your horse. I still need to figure out a spigot looking thing, but the hose is there. Then we have some towels. Um, we have a muck bucket. Um, and then we have a sign that says, please clean up after your horse. Uh, and then we have this little cabinet with all of the soaps, shampoos, detanglers, and brushes and whatnot. And then there's a bucket under there. And then we have this little saddle stand hook thing. So you just take it. Sorry, my hand's in the way. Just like that. And then when you're done using it, you just take it off and hang it back up like so. And then we have sports halter and lead rope hanging there because he was in here earlier. Oh, and there is a drain at the bottom of the map too, so very nice. All right. So after that, then we have this little area where we keep all of our jump storage. Um, yeah, we have a lot of jump storage. Um, and then we have a tack box over there that has all of our jump cups in it too. So the next thing we're gonna do is this little path. Um, to the left, you will see our tack room and feed room. And then to the right is ah, one of our main beautiful, wonderful barns that we've made. Um, all right, so on the outside, we have this whiteboard with all of our lesson in, um, and then there's a little marker and eraser as well. On um, the marker does not work, but the eraser sure does. And under the whiteboard, we just have um, the little fence thing. And then on the other side of the tack room door, you can see a little birdhouse and then a little table and chairs with some nice orange drink or something sitting on the table. Um, and then we'll take a look inside here. Um, so this is our attack room. Um, we have a tack box with just some random stuff in it. Um, we have a lunge line. We have um, extra halters hanging there. 
Um, then we have this with all sorts of medicines and everything you could possibly imagine in there. There's some wormer and just a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and then up top we have a rosette and a trophy. Then over here we have the parade bridle and then some breast collars and breast plates and you know, all that fun stuff. And then we have a bunch of bridles. Um, I still need to get to more attack making. I don't have enough attack in my barn. So that's one of the things on my list to do this year <laughs> um, is make more attack. And then up there we have a horse statue with another trophy. And then we have the helmet cubbies there. And then there is Lauren, the owner of the stable, just, you know, hanging out in here. And then we have a brush box and a toolbox. Um, some more bridles over on this side. And then we have all of our wonderful saddles here. Two are out right now. Um, and then we have a saddle pad rack with a bunch of saddle pads and then another attack box with more random stuff. Um, and then over there, that's a door that also leads into the feed room. So the other side of the attack room is the feed room. Um, the feed room's still a work in progress. Uh, I'm not completely done with it yet because um, I'm not super happy with it. Um, I feel like it needs something, but over here we have a shelving unit with um, some feet at the bottom, some buckets, and um, extra su supplement containers. And that just says kelp on stables and another little trophy. Dog food and water. Um, a little picture. Um, and then there's like a little table. Um, stop blocks are down on the bottom as well along with some scoops and whatnot. And then we have our feed barrels there. Um, and then we have our, all of our supplements right there. And then a little horse statue, another picture, and then um, some apples down there in a basket. So yeah, that's our feed room. Then outside of our feed room, um, we do have an American flag and then a little pond. Okay, so. On the other side of that, we have our beautiful, main, wonderful barn here. Um, it is completely finished, other than I'm still trying to figure out how I want to do latches on the barn doors, because I do want it to have latches so it's even more realistic. Um, but we haven't figured that out yet, but um, this barn, if you want to know how to build it, I do have a how-to video. Um, I build one side for you and then you just pretty much copy it to the other side um, because it is a barn that can be um, split in half um, so that you can store it or whatever you choose to do. Um, so first off we have this guy, this is Bravo, um, he is a quarter horse gelding and then beside him that is, um, oh shoot, Zeus. He is a saddlebred stallion, and they've got their um, hay racks in there, and then they also have um, food and water buckets in their stalls. Um, and then each of them have their own tag box with all have random stuff in it, like leg like wraps and whatnot. I'm not going to open them all, um, but yeah. And then this is Spot. Um, that's Elizabeth's dog, and then this is Elizabeth's daughter. Um, uh, Ashley. Yes, that's Ashley. And she's just brushing, um, one of our... Uh, what breed did I give him? I forget what I gave him. But he's a stallion. Um, he's some warm blood. I forget which warm blood I gave, made him. But, yeah. Um, his stall's right there. And then over here we have a quarter horse stallion, um, Chance. Who's just, you know, looking out his little window here lovely so yeah that's this barn and it's like my favorite barn ever so i'm really happy with it um she just has some grooming supplies in her hand if you're wondering what she's doing standing there and then there's um a brush box over there with there we go there's a brush box over there with um one of our cats who is named mr meow after my own cat in real life Oh, I never said this horse's name. This is Romeo. FYI. I just completely glazed over his name. Okay, so this is the back side of the mare and lesson horse area. Um, 
so you can see some horses already because they have their doors open here. Right there looking at us, that's Clover, um, an American paint horse. And then her full, oh, get closer, is back in the corner there. Um, that's Willow. And then over here, oh, I can't really see her. Maybe, I guess we'll see her on the other side. We'll see her on the other side, but that's Delilah. And then her colt is right there. That is, um, oh, what did I name him? Shoot. All right, so there's a gate here with a little chain. It says keep gate closed at all times because we do turn out horses out here sometimes. And then there's also a slow down. Um, you're entering a horse area or something like that. I can't really read it from here. Um, it's a little shed. And then we're just gonna pop right in here. So this is the other side of the barn. Um, you can see they have their fly masks and halters there, um, bridles there, true. And then there's a um, get a life ride a horse sign. And then that's doors open there too. You can see the little pole. And then this is Paige, she's just sweeping up. And they have a little ribbon on their door. Um, and then there is Delilah, the, she is an Arabian mare. And they have their tag boxes here. She has nothing in hers. And then she has a bunch of stuff in hers, so. Yep, and then she also has a ribbon on her door. Um, she does not have a name tag. And they have their halters and lead rips there. I need to make her a bridle yet, so that's just kind of empty. Then we have radio, um, another warning poster. And then up here is just a bunch of random stuff. We have pony tack in the back there, some posters, trophy, a little horse light thing. And yeah, and this barn does have a light right there, but I'm not gonna turn it on because it's pretty bright right now. So, moving on. So we have a fence there, and then it leads to this barn here, which has two horses in it. Um, they are box stalls, they're just kind of smallish. Um, and it's kind of dark in here. If any barn needs a light, it's this one. Um, but, let me open this up so you can see her better. Um, right here, this is Summer. Um, she's an Arabian mare, and she's not really fitting in there very well, is she? Yeah, she does fit. Okay. So yeah, that's her. Um, she has a halter and leader up there, and then some more posters. And then this is Shadow, a uh, Tennessee Walker mare, and then she has her fly mask, lead rope, and halter there. And then there is a loft up here with some random stuff in it as well. So over here we have the ladder to the loft area um, from the last barn that you just saw. And then right here, this is sports stall. Um, you can see that they are standing stalls, and then they have their food and water on their door here. And then next to him, this is um, Sunny. He is a quarter pony. Yep, and he's a gelding. Um, these are both, he's a lesson horse, and as I said before, sports a lesson horse. This is kind of a lesson horse barn thing. Um, yeah. And then he has his lead rope and fly mask hanging there. And then right here, we have this little pasture area in the corner here um, with a Morgan mare. Um, Autumn, and then that's one of her fillies, um, Hope, and then this is her other filly, Faith. So yeah, that's them. And then the other lead ropes and fly masks there, and then they have a water bucket over there. Um, last but not least, we have this barn. Um, so over here, we have fly masks and halters and lead ropes. Um, we have a bridle, horse, trophy, caution horse lover country. And then we have one horse here. This is Melody. She is a uh, Cleveland Bay. Um, and then we have her colt, which is back there. He is named uh, Prince. Yeah, that's them too. And then this barn also has a lake destroying the barn. Yep, so then there's more horse 
horse statue things. And then this is Emily, and she's just cleaning some tack right now with her little sponge to clean up the bridle. And that's Rascal, our Jack Russell, and Stripes, our cat. And that's just a bottle of whatever she's using to clean our tack with. I don't know. And then that's a thing with all of our vet supplies, um, which most of it's out right now since Elizabeth's using it. And she's sitting on a tack box which has tack in it, and then there's some more tack in there. And then we have fly masks, again, a rope halter, um, little foal, statue, trophy, and then a absolutely no smoking in barn area sign. Then we have a ribbon, a bag, and our hay and sawdust storage. And then our final horses are Luna and um, Rose. Um, who is a quarter horse mare. And then that's a quarter horse filly. So yeah, that is my barn. I'm sorry if it took so long. So I'll give you guys an overview.